Today we have a very special guest, Dr. Jagdish Krishnaswamy. I have yet to see an example where a water intensive crop has been changed to a less water intensive crop and the saved water is leading to an ecological bonus. We are rightfully investing in rain fed agriculture and making it, giving incentives to farmers to grow millets and that part is great. Yeah. But it's not going to go back the, to the environment. But yeah, but the saved water is not going back either into the ground or into the nearest wetland or river. So basically the idea of ecological flows comes in because humans are appropriating a lot of water, which would have otherwise have been part of natural and semi-natural riverine ecosystems, wetlands, all the way from the headwaters to the deltas and estuaries. So the goals of restoration, I think, should be based on realistic understanding of how people and other biodiversity and livestock, other stakeholders are engaging with the current condition and are they locked in economically or in other ways to this transformed system and therefore complete removal or reversal to something that may not be possible. We have to, I think, take these factors into account.